What's up, this is your girl, Megan Good, and you're listening to Street Disciples Radio. All right, folks, we're back. Street Disciples Radio. And right now we have our first guest on the line. She is a very beautiful, very talented uh, woman. Actually, I, I don't know how old she is. I got to check the age. Not everybody want to lie about their goddamn age. Um, but she goes by the name of Miss Frenchie Davis. How you doing there, love? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm 33. <laughs> Oh, um, excuse me, Frenchie, you said you're, you're, you're how old? I'm 33. You're 33? Yeah. Get out of here. Okay, if you say so, Frenchie. We believe what? you. We believe you, Frenchie. It's okay. Honey, <laughs> <laughs> no. I have no reason to I'm, lie about that. I'm just, so. I'm just, I'm just teasing you. We're, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you are 33. I'm actually 33. Uh, when, when, is oh, your okay. bir- when is your birthday? May seventh, nineteen seventy nine, honey. Okay, so I'm, 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 I got you by a few months there. That's that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I, I like that. A seventies baby. So you grew up with the same kind of influences that I grew up with, right? Oh, definitely. Yeah, guns and drugs. Shut up, you. <laughs> All right. So now, now, what have you, what have you been doing with yourself? Now, now, first off, <laughs> for those who don't know uh, too much about uh, Miss Frenchie Davis, now you originally was a contestant on American Idol first, correct? Yeah, I was um, a contestant on season two of Idol, and right. then after that, I went and did a Rent on Broadway for four years, and did uh, the Broadway version of Dreamgirls, and the Broadway cast of Ain't Misbehaving, and um, got nominated for a Grammy for the cast recording uh, for Ain't Misbehaving, and then um, ended up on season one of The Voice on NBC, and that's probably where people know me from most recently. Right, and that's, and that's what's up. Now, first off, you uh, you obviously must have some sort of talent, um, you know, to make it that far on <laughs> these shows. Now, I actually um, sing myself. Okay. I, what the hell are you laughing at over there? <laughs> no, I, yeah, I actually sing myself, and I was thinking about uh, going out for uh, the show duets. Okay. Do you think that'll work? No. Hey, I'm not gonna discourage anyone from pursuing a dream of theirs. Now, so now, usually, that- usually, what, what usually happens when we have R&B singers, usually when they call and they request to like sing with me, they request to do like a duet because they <laughs> they like the the mellow tones of my voice. So I don't know if you want to mm-hmm. request that a little bit later on. Maybe we could set yeah, something maybe. up. Yeah, maybe. You know, we could talk about it. <laughs> right. If you can, if you can reach my range, then we can do something with it. But other than exactly. that, exactly. Like I don't want to, you know. I don't want to sing with somebody and I can't hang. You know, yeah. you might out sing me. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't want to embarrass you. You know, it is right. That you know. <laughs> right. So, so now listen. First off, I, I, there's a there's a few things I want to get to before I get to what's going on with you career wise. Uh, okay. Number one, what? Why is it now? You was a, a part of some sort of controversy with a photo, right? That was a while. Uh-huh. That was years ago. Now, what happened yeah, with this photo? Ago. First off, what happened with that photo? Well, I mean, the short version of the story, because yeah, I mean, I've told it a billion times. Right. The short version is basically, um, I took topless pictures to pay my tuition at Howard University when I was 19 years old. Right. And five years later, uh, the producers of Idol decided to kick me off the show for it. Right. Months after I told them about the pictures I made. Right. And I think that the controversy wasn't really about the pictures. The controversy was about me getting kicked off for them when they were taken five years prior and I had been honest about the pictures um, from the beginning of the competition so I heard it was let me compete and then change their minds <laughs> yeah I heard it was it was some kind of scandal involved behind that because you know it was being reported that they did know about the pictures so right. it's like they did know. out of left yeah. field and that they kicked you off the show because of it now, yeah they um, they knew about the pictures um, I mean now that reality TV takes up most of television airspace, we all know now that, you know, that they do extensive background checks on any person before they're allowed to be a participant on any reality TV show. Um, we have to do, like, personality tests and, you know, uh, fill out all this background check information. So, I mean, there wasn't anything about me that the producers of Idol did not know. And no. that is the case for any person in any reality TV show, and they will tell you that. Now, so last they will... They were well aware of the pictures, and you know, um, they thanked me for my honesty. And then, 
three months after I told them, decided to kick me off the show for it. It's okay, baby. It's okay. Because you were definitely a contender. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She Thank still you. is a contender in my mind. Now, look, uh, where can I find these photos at? Because Oh, know, Lord. Listen to him. I have a lot of spare time on my hands. You know what? They don't even exist anymore. That I think that's what was so appalling about them. Um, about me getting kicked off the show for it because it's like no one could even find the pictures and so people were just kind of like well but didn't you guys I mean you know contestants that were strippers and yeah didn't the same thing happen to a, a girl you know, like a different set of rules later on I'm didn't sorry? a girl um, later on in American Idol didn't like a similar thing happen yeah they had a girl um, I think her name was Antonella and she I think pictures surfaced surface of her on the internet and she had like a penis in her mouth oh shout out to her oh lord have mercy that's a kind of girl right right there that's my kind of chick she won didn't she they let her stay on the show for sure and they pulled her off instead of well if she didn't if she didn't win she's a one in my heart shout out to her but do you do you think that that was part of that was the plan from the get go that they were going to let you slide by and then in order to you know, generate interest in the show and boost ratings. They, you know, have planned to, you know, keep you on you know so what? that they'll be able to pick you off in the middle of the process. You know, there's so much about that whole situation that I, I think will never make sense to me. So I, I don't even waste time go. trying to, you know, figure out what their what their intentions were. Um, you know, it definitely gave the show good publicity. Um, right the way that they chose to um, but I, I can't speak to what their intentions could have been what now, season was that season two. Oh, okay. season two yeah mm-hmm. now I have uh, you know now usually when people get caught up in scandals what happens is they try to turn everything they do into like um, some sort of porn fest and I saw a uh, photograph of you I think I have the photograph I, I don't even know if I should put it up but I, they, they have a photograph of you um Performing somewhere on stage, uh, bent down, and yeah, you, you, you know, everything. Yeah, is, yeah. Oh my God, what the hell I is know, that, with that? And you know what? <laughs> that was literally that was me on stage performing at like a gay pride festival, and I was dancing to the music, dropped it like it was hot. Somebody snapped the picture, and it damn and, sure was hot. And baby. then posted posted it on the internet, like. Yeah. You know, I flashed all my business to everyone, but obviously, um, you know, anyone who knows anything about me or my career or my education, for that matter, they certainly don't believe that I took what happened on Idol as an opportunity to turn everything into a porn fest. Because well, not you, but that's the, why with that's Howard people... University, I have much more to offer the world than that. Right. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to offer us more, of that we'll <laughs> gladly take it. Thank you. <laughs> well, I can send you my number, and I'll gladly take it. And you can just wait. So you said you were at a festival. You recently came out as being bisexual, right? Yes, I did. What made you decide to come out? Well, you know, there wasn't a big decision like, okay, I'm going to come out of the closet. Um, as far as people who know me personally are concerned, I've been out since high school. I dated my first girl when I was 16 years old. So the, my friends and family already knew, and mm-hmm. there's a significant difference between being honest about who you are with friends and family and then allowing media scrutiny into your personal life. So it wasn't like I've been in the closet this whole time. It was just not a discussion that was had with members of the press. Um, I was doing an interview um, with a small paper based in St. Louis, and um, he asked the question, and in the moment, I just chose to answer the question honestly. You know, honestly, I think, um, you know, we, we live in a world, you know, full of people that are constantly telling us that it's not okay to be true to ourselves. And um, I just, I think that the journey to self-acceptance is too long and hard to get to the end of it and then lie about who you are. And I, you know, in that moment, you know, when the question was asked, I decided that I don't want to spend my life giving ambiguous answers or lying about who I am. And so, you know, I just decided to answer a question truthfully, not knowing that it would become a headline the next morning. Well, well, listen, I've been a lesbian for years, so... (laughs) 
I feel you on that one. Now, what, you know, ty- what type of female do you like, if you don't mind me asking? I like pretty girls. You like um, pretty girls. I like them. I like them kind of tomboyish, but they have to be pretty. Pretty. Um, and that's you know, I like all girls. I like feminine girls. I like the tomboys. Um, but for you know, I like the feminine girls just for fun, and I like the tomboy. You know, for dating seriously, I prefer the more tomboyish ones. But oh. all in all, they have to be pretty. Frenchie, I like you. You know, you, 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 you working on a, a, a album? What's going on here? Yeah, I'm working on my album. Um, my new single drops uh, September fourth. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. I just shot. I shot a video for the single um, in the Mojave Desert with Brian Friedman. A lot of people know Brian um, for being creative director on X Factor and choreographing for Britney Spears for many years. And okay. Okay. He hopped on board with the project because he believed in my talent and he liked the song and. You know, it just all uh, kind of came together, and um, now what's what's the name know, of the song? It's called "Love Got a Hold of Me," and it's a dance track. Okay. And um, you know, I I never imagined, you know, ten years ago when I was on Idol that I'd be doing dance music. But you know, um, on The Voice, we weren't allowed to pick our own songs. Um, Christine and all of my songs, and we went back and forth a lot over song choice. Um, but I think that her picking dance songs for me really opened a whole other door of possibility for me. Um, all the songs I did on the show um, charted in the top five dance charts, and that's kind of what started this whole um, journey of doing dance music. And I grew up listening to dance music, listening to, you know, people like, you know, CeCe Peniston and Martha Wash and Robin Ness and Jocelyn Brown. And, you know, back, you know, we're the same age, so, you know, there was a time when all the girls who were singing over house beats had big voices, and right. you know I'm hoping to bring that that back. You know, um, not beat people over the head with the fact that I can sing. You right. know, sing pretty notes for them and make them dance. Right, that's what I want to do. You're gonna make cocaine music. That's the house music. That's that real <laughs> fast shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm not mad at it, man, and I wish you success with that. Uh, you know, thank you so much. The, the single is called "Love Got a Hold of Me." Is it available on iTunes just yet? Yes, it'll be available on iTunes September fourth. Okay, it'll be available on iTunes September fourth. Now, now, do you have any website? Anything else you you know you want to promote? Yeah, check me out at officialfrenchie dot com, and um, you know, follow me on Twitter. Right. And um, my my Facebook uh, personal page is full. So feel free to subscribe to that because I keep it a lot realer on that than I do on my fan page on Facebook. Mm. Um, and yeah, you know, I, I I follow back, I tweet back, I interact with my fans. So, you know, hit me up. All right. Do you any any questions over there? Yeah, wish you the best of luck. Yes, definitely do because you definitely can blow, sister. <laughs> she Thank can? you. Yes, <laughs> and I don't mean that kind of blow eight. So I didn't say anything. <laughs> but I know what you were thinking. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I've known you long enough to know where your mind was going when I said that. I did. And I, mm-hmm. I, I, I did stepped right think, into that one. So I did think to myself. Of course I you did. If she can blow. <laughs> yeah, of course she did. Disrespectful. <laughs> Anything that you say in the studio, he will take it in a sexual I way. Didn't, but I didn't even say that.